Hi, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. So you're turning on your propane heater and you set the temperature high enough so that the heater will come on, the fan starts blowing, and then within a minute it shuts off. Some quick easy checks first to do is make sure your propane tank is actually on. Check all your vents inside the unit and then the one main that's on the outside on the heater panel. Make sure nothing is blocking the airflow. And then also, obviously, make sure your temperature setting is high enough to above the actual room temperature. Let's go over some facts to know about how the unit actually works. When the temperature is set higher than the room temperature, the first thing that comes on is the fan. It will come on with no heat. Air is blown through the ducts to clear out any dust for fire hazard, etc. Second, then the gas will ignite by a flap, or what is called a sail switch, pictured here, that will close completely shut. And if it doesn't close completely, the unit will shut off. Now things that would prevent the flap from closing completely would be like lint or hair, maybe you have a pet, or just whatever, it's dusty, um, and it can get circled around and, and clogged around the flap itself, preventing that. So here you can see as an illustration as to what kind of things that can happen to prevent that from shutting. So let's go ahead and go out to the heater itself and we're going to take the panel off. You don't have to take the uh, silver uh, duct part off, just the panel itself. When you open it up, this is what you're going to see. The sail switch is located behind this uh, black plate here with the two screws. Um, of course, you're going to follow the directions that you have on your uh, you know, owner's manual for the brand that you have, but they all are fairly similar where you would actually unscrew that plate and then when you pull it out, there you go, there's the sail switch. And you'll see on ours, this is what I discovered when I did mine, um, we did have some lint that was collecting around the sail switch. So I cleaned that off really good, just pulled it away, wiped it clean, everything else looks pretty good. And I just slipped that right back where it was, put the same two screws in, and it worked. So, of course, this is our experience with our motorhome and our propane heater and diagnosing and figuring out uh, what went wrong. Um, it's meant to be a learning tool for others, but again, it's always uh, your responsibility to follow your operations manual and be safe with your rig. So some of the tools that we used within this uh, diagnosis is this really cool WorkPro set. I love it because it's easy to store and it has the long um, you know, screwdriver ends and different uh, ends that you would need for your rig. Uh, easy to get into hard to work places. Um, so this one works really well. And if you don't already have, definitely have a set of backup um, fuses as well as the flat head fuses and the glass fuses. Uh, there's so many fuses in our rigs you never know which one you're going to need and it's such a simple fix. We have the links below for each of these items and really imperative to have. It's so easy to do so many fixes if you've got these on board instead of paying and waiting for a service center. Um, you'd be surprised what you can fix. So happy camping and thanks for watching.